Hello everyone, SW Gaming here, back for another LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga video. It's been a while since The Skywalker Saga was announced during E3 in 2019, where a special demo was given to those in attendance. Since then, small bits of information have been trickling in shortly but surely. As of now, so much is still unknown, but I wanted to recap what we currently know at the beginning of February. Now, this game was rebuilt from the ground up, meaning that this isn't like any LEGO game that's come before it. Even Episode 7 was fully redone from the game that was released a few years ago. One of the game developers for TT Games has confirmed that the game is running on a new game engine. I did a video talking about this last week or so, and I'll have it listed at the end of the video. What that engine is has been unconfirmed, like many other aspects of this game, but it could be an all new engine that was built specifically for this game and others that follow, or TT Games could be using the Unreal Engine 4, which would explain the drastic improvement in graphics between the Skywalker Saga and the Complete Saga. Now, it has been confirmed by the director, James McLaughlin, that most, if not all, elements in the game have been built with physical Lego pieces, meaning that they can perfectly capture the lighting and recreate it faithfully to the source material when imported into the game. The, de the developers also put LEGO pieces out into several elements, such as sand, so they can accurately capture what the, the elements would look like on actual LEGO during levels on sandy planets such as Tatooine or Jakku, even Pasana. There is a full voice cast for the game as they've stated that they're trying to move away from the old style of LEGO grunting. However, I have heard rumors that TT Games may include a function to toggle and switch between voice acting and their traditional grunting expressions. TT Games has also brought in Lucasfilm approved voice actors to voice scenes and dialogue that may have not been present in the nine films or else dialogue that doesn't fully fit with the game script. Certain characters will also be able to understand others. For example, to most players, a gong droid would simply say gong Gone, gone. but when switched to C-3PO, the player would then be able to understand what that droid may be saying. Another update comes in the form of health and battle. Every character and enemy have a health bar, and when you attack others, their health numbers are displayed. TT games have removed the one-hit kill functions on basic enemies that previous games had. Combat isn't always lock on either. There are times when characters have the ability to free shoot instead of autom automatically locking onto a target. Now, the game is built for two-player co-op, allowing players to easily switch back and forth between two characters, even in single-player. So, nothing has changed about this aspect. I know that you will be able to travel from planet to planet, so maybe you're able to fly to each place and experience the galaxy as our heroes might have on the Millennium Falcon. So the famous cantina or diner lobby may no longer be the way you get from level to level. Let's talk about multiplayer. There are no plans for online multiplayer, but that could change even though I don't think it's likely. Although I would be perfectly fine without a multiplayer mode, as we get a lot of games with that capability today, and I'm fairly fond of when games stick to their traditional first player mission layout and storyline, so I don't foresee not having multiplayer as being an issue, and I don't really think that there's going to be a lack of content to play in this game. Finally, there will be a ton of Easter eggs. Trust me, there will be no shortage of nods to Star Wars favorites all throughout the game. To end the video, I just want to state that this is an end-all, be-all LEGO Star Wars game. Unless Disney decides to add more to the Skywalker Saga, this could very well be the last LEGO Star Wars game ever, or for a very, very long time. Pretty soon I'll be running a special giveaway which will be stated in a later video, so please consider subscribing to my channel for updates and news on LEGO Star Wars, The Skywalker Saga, as well as other Star Wars gaming content, and don't forget to click that notification bell to stay updated when more Skywalker Saga videos are released. Feel free to drop me a comment down below on what you thought about this video. I try my best to respond to all comments, positive or negative. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Hope you have a great day.